Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in Warframe in uh, the new patch 1999. We're going to start by optimizing Windows. After that, we're going to change your NVIDIA Pine Reader. And at the end, we're going to optimize your game. So now for Windows, we're going to start by writing settings. And we're going to go to the settings of Windows 11. We're going to start by gaming over there. So the first one is game bar. This one I really recommend to disactivate it. It's causing issue and also you're losing some FPS with it. Except if you have a Ryzen uh, CPU, the 7900X 3D or the 7950X 3D, they're using uh, the game bar uh, to prioritize your CCD when you're playing video games. So super important to use that if you have those processors. If you have any other processor, just disactivate it. After that, we're going to go to graphic. We're going to change default graphic setting over there. Make sure that your hardware accelerated GPU scheduling is at on. Super important to do that. We're going to go to gaming again. Capture. Capture. Make sure that everything is disactivated like this. So uh, you want to save all your resources. And the last one is game mode. Now game mode honestly is really, really good. Back then with Windows 10, it was a bit sketchy and a lot of like stuttering issue. But now you really need to using it uh, to make sure that all your resources are pri prioritizing your video games. Another thing that I recommend, we're going to go to system is your power uh back then uh, we were recommending to use the best performance but now honestly just use balance you will have better boost clock longer boost clock uh, i did a couple of benchmark balance versus per best performance and honestly i'm getting better result with balance so super important to do that Another thing I want to mention is some recommendations. So make sure that your uh, XMP profile is activated if you have it on your BIOS, super important. Make sure that you download the latest uh, chipset driver for your CPU if you have an AMD or Intel. Also make sure that you update your BIOS to make sure that you have all the latest update from your uh, CPU or your uh, uh, motherboard provider. Make sure that you have your Windows update up to date. And the last one is also make sure that you have the latest driver from your GPU. So if you have an NVIDIA card, Radeon or Intel, super important. They always push new update and they optimize a lot of stuff in it. So now let's go to the NVIDIA app. The first thing that I want to recommend, uh, I'm not a huge fan, honestly, of the um overlay so nvidia overlay i really recommend to disactivate this one sometimes it's causing issue like stuttering you're losing some fps with it so i really recommend to disactivate it also we're gonna go to the control panel i'm gonna show you some optimization that you can do so we're gonna go to the manage 3d setting first so the first thing that you should definitely activate it is your low latency mode make sure this one is at on Another thing that I recommend is your power management mode. This one, pretty much the same thing than the, the, the one from Windows. Make sure that you're using normal. Don't use the maximum performance. I'm getting also better boost clock, more FPS with it. And the last one is your shader cache size. By default, your cache will be a driver default like this. And normally it's four gig. Uh, I recommend to start with 10 if you don't have a lot of space on, on your computer. And if you have a lot of space, go with 100 gig. Honestly, it's a game changer for your cache size. Uh, you're gonna struggle less with stuttering and also that your game need to recompile and stuff like that. If you install a lot of game, uh, this one can be very good for you. Now let's go to change resolution. The last one, really important to make sure that first of all, that you're selecting the uh, monitor, uh, that uh, first of all, you're using the native resolution of your monitor and also super important to have a proper refresh rate over there. Uh, by default, sometimes when you just change your monitor, it will be at 60 Hertz. Uh, so depending on the type of monitor that you buy, 144, 240, make sure that you're selecting this one. This option also, you can change it on Windows or your Radian driver if you have a Radian car. So no problem with that. The last one is your G-Sync. If you want to activate your G-Sync, yeah, really important to select the monitor. It needs to be compatible and you will enable over there. Uh, I'm not using G-Sync me. I always unlock my FPS because I want the lowest input lag. But if you don't like those steering line, definitely activate your G-Sync over there. So now let's go back to the game. So now inside of the game, so we're going to go to the graphic pie reader in the section display mode. Make sure that you're playing full screen. 
all the other modes, you're going to lose a little bit of your FPS and also you're going to increase your input lag. Make sure that you're playing native for your resolution, so the, the uh, resolution from your monitor, same thing with your refresh rate. Vertical sync, I deactivated to uh, reduce the input lag. Also, I deactivate my max frame rate limit, so I'm putting it at no limit to have, again, the lowest input lag possible. Uh, be aware, in this game, you can have a lot of FPS and sometimes it can cause thermal issue. So if you're playing on an old laptop or you have bad thermal, don't go too crazy. Sometimes it's just good to lock your FPS with the amount of Hertz that you have on your monitor. Field of view is a question of preference, but if you go higher, you're going to lose more FPS. After that, now we have the upscaling technique. I recommend to go with DLSS if you have an RTX card. Quality mode, you can expect 10 to 12% boost in your FPS. After that, honestly, the game it looks very blur blurry, so my recommendation is go with quality. Sharpening goes something between 50, by 60 to 70, it really depends. If you feel that your game is too blurry, go higher. If it looks too much like an Instagram filter, go lower. If you don't have an RTX card, go with FSR 2.2 quality mode. You can expect 8% boost in your FPS. And the sharpening is pretty much the same thing than DLSS, something like between 60 to 70. Let's go back to DLSS. After that, in your graphics settings, geometry quality you can run this one at high. Not, it's not an issue. I'm going to show you which parameter that will provide you the most of your FPS. So the goal here is to have decent performance and also a good image quality. Shadow quality, I recommend to go with medium. You can expect a nice 8% boost over there. You're going to keep a nice image quality. Texture memory, if you have 4 gig and more of VRAM, go high. 3 gig medium, less than that, go with low. Particle system and GPU particle quality, both go with low. Uh, you're going to stabilize your FPS. You can have a lot of crazy drop with those. So definitely go with low. And it's tropic filtering, I, I recommend to go with 8x. Training layer filtering, go with on. In the advanced section, I recommend to deactivate those three. You can expect a nice 5% boost over there. Ambient occlusion, I recommend to go with medium. Don't go at disable. The game looks very flat without it. And volumetric frog quality, go with medium. If you're playing on a potato, this one go with low. You can expect another 4% boost in your FPS. All those parameters over there, you're going to gain like maybe 2 to 3% boost in your FPS, but it's more about uh, your uh, clarity uh, and your visuals. So deactivate everything. The game looks a lot better without it. Uh, it's a lot of different post-processing effect that it's cool when you're playing a single player game, but in this game, you want uh, visibility. So deactivate that. Weapon elementary FX, you can stay at on for this one. Same thing with color correction if you want that. Character Shadow, this one you can uh, use it like you're going to lose 1% in your FPS. Not a crazy thing. Contact Shadow, deactivate. Sun Shadow and Ends Decal, deactivate. Another 3% over there. And uh, the Reduce Frame Latency, I recommend to test it out. Uh, sometimes it's because stuttering. So if you have that issue, deactivate it. If not, you can definitely use it. So this is pretty much it, guys, for my update guide for uh, Warframe, uh, the new patch, 1999. So if you have any questions, just comment in the YouTube section, post me your rig, CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel.